Hey, welcome back. Um, another using Emacs video. Um, today we're gonna we're actually gonna continue on um, um, add on to the post I made a few days ago on unit test rating workflow. Um, and when I wrote that, I wasn't sure how I was gonna do it. Was it gonna be uh, should it have been an Emacs video because I did shell stuff? Should it have done it? Um, as a general video, should I have done it the way I did it? I wasn't sure, um, but I thought I would just write it up the way I did. And um, if you did read that post, uh, where are we in here? Uh, I point out how I make this directory structure, um, and I say down here, somewhere down here, um, that I use Emacs and use the, this AG thing in dered mode and, and etc. Um, and I thought I'd make a video talking a little bit about how I did that. So this is the directory structure that I typically have, and so I, I'll have much, many more of these. I'll have like you know, 30 of these, one for each student, and each one will have a folder for each assignment, which might be a lab or a project. Um, and then I also have to find things conveniently or navigate conveniently in here. Um, and I'll talk about doing that in a second. Um, now, of course, I can't show this to you on my students, uh, on my, uh, do I have another shell up here? I probably do, yes, I just cloned that, whatever. Uh, yeah, um, so um, I can't show this to you on my students' projects, because you know that's just between me and them, but what I did is I have this repo, uh, and you can see it's got a whole bunch of stuff in it. Um, it's basically a private repo I have up on GitHub where I stage all of the projects I want to get to my students, uh, all the assignments. So what I can do is I can put up these org files which then render under GitHub nicely when you look at them. Um, or you know, here this one has a C++ file that I have to get to them, etc. cetera. Um, but what I can do is, um, because each of these are org files and under lab six there's an org file and then under the projects, um, there's another org file. It'll serve for this demo, um, and that's what we'll use. Um, so let's go, let's jump in. So first, here we have Emacs, uh, the usual, and um, I'm just going to clean this up. One of the things that's cool is um, I showed uh, the iBuffer stuff a way back, and a nice thing is you can use tab and iBuffer to move between these, and if you, you know, if you want to delete direct, um, buffers, I can just hit DD, notice here I'm under scratch, I can you know, delete each buffer by typing that. But if I just if I if I go to the tab, I can it'll delete everything. It'll delete everything under that tab, which is nice. So let's go to that project. So using projectile, so it's temp demo, and I'll just go to the readme file just to get into a file here. Now I of course could just use dered, go to dered mode, and um, now I'm just in this directory mode, and I covered Dorette a while ago, and I can do things like, well, let's go into this directory, uh, let's go up. I'm using the A key, which replaces this buffer with the result. If I just hit enter, I'd have multiple Dorette buffers, which I, I usually don't like. Or I could open this in the other window, and let's get rid of that, and etc. But the problem here is I just have to navigate everything manually. Um, so even though Dorette is really useful, um, there's a better way of doing it. And the way I did it is um, I found this package at some point um, called called ag.el uh, and that's an interface to the Silver Searcher. And Silver Searcher is a search package. Um, it's like, uh, think of it as like grep on steroids, like recursive grep on steroids. So if I open up a terminal again, I don't think I have another one. Do I have another one? Yes, I still have this up. Um, if I just type grep, it's going to grep things in this directory. Let's go to this demo directory. But if I type ag, let's say I want to look inside of my files, and I know this is not what I'm doing for my workflow. For my workflow, I want to find files with a certain name. Um, but let's say I want to find all the files with the word submit in them. Um, it's just a really, you know, it looks at all of them, and I can, I can do things. It just does smart things with, with program files and stuff, but it's just a nice, quick search um, search mechanism. So I'm just going to close this window here. We'll go into Emacs. I'll show the installation later. Um, and with AG, you get this really nice feature, AG Dread, um, which will search for file names to put them into a Dread bobber. Um, or let's just do, let's just do um, Dread Reg X. And, and let's, let's look under temp demo, demo and, and let's, let's look for all files, anything that starts with uh, any character um, star, and then ends in org, 
And notice here, I've got all my org files in a red buffer, and I can, you know, use, you know, I can uh, use that, I can, you know, go into that one. You know, I can just do anything in the normal thread thing, but it's not a directory listing. It's pulled out just these files, um, which end in .org, which is really useful. Uh, or another one that I can do, I can do ag dread, you know, project dread regex, so I, it knows that I'm in a project directory already. Um, so I just find the regular expression. Now, if I only want the ones under labs, I could be like lab anything org. And notice that it no longer brings up the, the one beforehand had project in it, the, the, the project directory file. This one has just the lab ones. And that's kind of what I want, which is, which is really pretty neat. Um, and I can go even further. Like I could say this won't work here. Um, but I could say AG project direct. I, I, oh, I want lab seven anything. Uh, I want to look at all your something named CPP files, or uh, I want to look at all their make files, whatever it is. Um, and I could just call out all of the students' files, and that's that. Or I could just call out all the students' folders for each project, and and work from there. So that's a really, really, really nice feature. Now, um, if I don't have, in order to do this, I have to have um, AG installed and set up. Uh, and to so install AG, uh, here we are. You can look at this page here. Oh, what's the great summary here? It'll tell you how to install it. Uh, so app get installed, uninstall. Um, ours, this is what I did. Um, I, I used Yower to instead, but basically uh, easy enough to install. Um, but if you don't have it, you can also do, there's also, I think it's find, uh, find DRED. Um, the, you have to specify the directory. And now you have to give the parameters name, you know, something like this, what you would type for the um, find file. Um, it's not as cool because um, it doesn't have that really flexibility with all of the regex stuff. But this comes out of the box, so you could also do this. But another thing you get with AG is you also get regular AG search, and that's really, really cool. Now, I don't use that for my workflow, but I still use it sometimes, and, and it's really nice. And what you can do is you could do, you know, just AG, yeah. AG project, it'll look for stuff in the, let's say everything in the project for the string submit. And now these are all of the files, you know, all the occurrences of the word submit in the file. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, if you're like me and you use projectile, I can do um, control CP to bring a projectile, search, search, and I can look for submit. Um, same deal. You know, you can do stuff like there. Oh, look, that's where that is. Yeah, I didn't want to do that. You know, I'll go to another file in project three, it's here, etc. cetera. Um, and you know, this is really pretty cool where you can just get all of the files that have this word submit in it, which is really nice. Um, and you could actually do stuff like this. If I actually look at, um, ah, I didn't want to do that there. Let's, uh, let's actually, let's go into project three, let's kill that, let's go to project three, or let's kill that, kill it anyway. Let's go into git status, and it looks like everything is up to date here, which is pretty cool. Um, but you could also do something really neat, and again, not so useful for what I'm doing, but really useful for refactoring or something like that, is there's another package called wgrep. Um, and wgrep lets you turn a grep buffer into an editable buffer. Um, and we can do this uh, with AG as well if we install a package called uh, wgrep AG or agwgrep. We'll take a look at a second. But I can do something like this. I could say wgrep, wgrep, uh, change to wgrep mode. And now I can edit this buffer. So here we're going to look at, let's, I mean, I'm gonna look through this, we'll see. Let's say we wanna change pseudonym here, we can get rid of that and let's or get rid of some stuff there. Let's save that. Let's go to another file somewhere. Let's go to lab7.org and we'll say submitting. Why is that not? I'm not sure why it's, um, did I save that? Oh, let's actually save the file. That's not letting me do that. Um, so that's kind of weird. So it looked like we saved this here. We made these changes. 
let's try this whole thing again. Let's uh, let's look at get status. Nothing was changed. Okay. Oh no, project three. Uh, that's an untracked file. So let's do the control CP search. Let's look for submit. We're in there. And now let's go to W grep edit the buffers. And we now should be able to change this, uh, go to another file and change this as well. Save both of them. Um, it says there's an unapplied change. I'm not sure why it's saying that. Uh, let's quit out of this. And now let's look at Megit and let's see. And it doesn't seem to be taking those. So, um, so I'm not sure what's up with that. Let's save that. Um, still not sure. All right. So let's look at the change there. Um, okay. That doesn't look to be like what we changed. Okay. So the WGREP thing, it worked for me earlier. I'm not sure why it's not working now. Um, but I'm going to post this video anyway, even with this to show that everything doesn't work perfectly. It's a, you know, about 11 minutes now. So if anyone has any answers for that, actually beforehand, let me show you the configuration and we'll finish everything off. So, for Silver Searcher, just very simple, use package, uh, AG, we're done. For WGREP, I did these, I installed WGREP here, and I also installed WGREP AG, and um, at first it was giving me that behavior where it didn't work, and then I tried to add in this uh, require WGREP AG, and that seemed to clean it up, uh, but now the problem is back again. So if anyone out there knows why it's not working, that would be awesome to let me know. Uh, but if not, it's still really cool, um, you know, just to use AG to find files and directories and organize your workflow. So I hope you enjoy this, and that's it for today. All right.